Hey entrepreneurs, I wanted to jump on and give you three quick productivity hacks for when you are doing Instagram live streams. So today I want to talk about three things you can do to maximize your time while you are live streaming here on Instagram. So here's what you need to know. Number one, the first thing that you can do to save time while you are live streaming here on Instagram is to screen record your live stream from a different device while you're on Instagram. Air. Now we all know that we like to repurpose video that is so important to do to put it on YouTube, to put it on Facebook, to put it on IGTV, all those fun fabulous things. But we also know that when you are saving your footage from Instagram Live, you can either save it from the top here and that just saves your straight footage without your comments, your people hanging out, or you can screen record it, which means you have to attach your phone to your computer and screen record it, which you can do later on. But if you do it while you're live on air on the second device, so another phone, another uh, device that you are using as an e-reader, or now Instagram has actually given us the ability to watch live streams on desktop from Instagram Live. Cheers and yay and yes and amen to Instagram for giving us that feature now. You can record it from a different device while you're live, which means those comments that are coming in are coming in in the correct order. They're not getting all jammed up. It's not kind of a weird thing where they just sit there. You're getting that taken care of right off the bat. You're getting them in real time. So I highly recommend screen recording while you are live streaming because it saves so dang much time. Now the second one I want to talk about is is creating graphics with your links to show on air. So take a look at what I've got on screen right now. You see this? This is pretty cool, right? It's got uh, a background. It's got words on it. It's got no notes, like things you guys need to see. Plus it's got me on screen. Now I can toggle this on and off so that I'm full screen or so that I am back in this tiny version. And I recommend that you are creating, whether or not you're educating, whether or not you're showing things off, I do recommend creating at least one screen to use kind of as an end screen as you're wrapping things up to let people know where they can find you. This should include your website, this should include your social media. And if you're having some kind of call to action, include that information as well so that you can toss that up on screen should someone ask you a question about where's your website or where should they find you on social media, where they can they contact you about commissions or booking your coaching services or buying your products. All that information is great to have on a slide or two and have that ready to go maximizes your time and people are able to then just screen grab that so that they don't forget where they're looking later on and you don't have to try to type it in the comments you don't have to go back and dm people like it's just a lot so make sure you have those screens that you can put up on your instagram lives and the third way I am hacking life when it comes to Instagram lives is to source questions from Instagram stories before I go live so let's say this was not an impromptu jump on Instagram hangout right now. I would tell you guys that I was going to go live early. And I would say we're talking about this specific topic. Do you have questions about this? Do you have questions about my book characters? Do you have questions about the candles I am making? Do you have questions about my coaching services? Do you have questions about when the yoga studio is going to open back up? whatever it happens to be, you're going to put that out on Instagram stories and you're going to use one of the features inside of Instagram stories to source questions. So you're using that question box and they're able to then type in their questions to you and down at the very bottom of your screen, you're going to see, it looks like a, a rounded square with a question mark in it with another little square kind of tipped off to the side. That's your questions. So you're actually going to be able to pull up anything that someone typed in there and you can see on the bottom of your screen. Your fans can't see it, but you can see it. Uh, the different questions and then you can tap on them. those those will appear on your screen so that you can answer those questions so if you're doing an ask me anything session or if you are showing off a new product or if you are doing something where you are potentially going to be showing people something and you're going to be answering those questions have the questions sent in early so that you know what they are in advance and you can pop them up right on screen. Now, that does not take away the fact that you should be asking for questions. If you're joining me live right now and you've got questions about my three productivity hacks for Instagram lives, get in my comments right now and let me know or just say hi. I would love to hear from you guys. I see that you're here hanging out. Hi, friends. Um, but always, if you have the ability to, put out that call for questions a little bit early because it ensures that you always have something to talk about when you jump on a live stream. Let's just pretend you jump on a live stream and maybe people aren't showing up right away and you need something to talk about. This will give you questions that you can answer. It shows that people are here interacting with you. Um, and pro tip, just here's a little extra pro tip for those of you who uh, haven't heard this one before. When you use the question function inside of Instagram stories, you can send in questions to yourself. 
and no one knows because it's all anonymous. You see it as the person who is answering questions, but people in general don't see it. So if you have nobody responding to your Instagram story question box, type it in. No one's going to know it's not you, boo-boo. I'm just saying. It's a great little life hack there. Um, so at this point, my three life hacks, one more time, screen record while you are live streaming from another device so that you get those comments coming in in real time and you don't waste time having to do it later, sitting there swiping away notifications, like all that stuff. It saves you time. Uh, make sure you are creating graphics with your links on it to show on air so your website, your social media, any calls to action you are doing, make sure you have it up just like I have on screen right now with information. You can do that too so that when you are shouting out where people can connect with you, they know they can grab it and take a screen picture of it, screenshot, screen grab, whatevs, um, and they know exactly where that is going to be going. And then make sure you are sourcing questions from your Instagram stories to pull up on air. So even if nobody's joining you live, they're ready to go. Pretty dang good, right? If you loved this, I want to know from you, what Instagram live hacks do you have? Let's get into the comments. Comments? questions and comments. Uh, let's get into my DMs if you're watching the replay or if you're over on the replay on YouTube. Get into my comments and let me know what Instagram productivity hacks do you have that can help other people to maximize their time while they are on a live stream here on Instagram. Uh, let me know. I would love to hear from you guys. Let's build each other up. Let's help each other grow. And if you want to continue to grow with your live streams, I got you covered, boo. Livestreamactionplan.com is available right now. It is a monthly roadmap to one really big important live stream in your business that you can do every single month and I'm giving you a roadmap so it's all of your marketing all of your captions all of your agenda notes your buttons how to get guests there's behind the scenes I'm teaching you how to make marketing graphics for it there's overlays so much stuff going on here for one really big important live stream in your business every single month and no matter what area you're in, no matter what niche, genre, industry, business, brand, everyone can take advantage of this. And I'm breaking down exactly how to do it. Remember, I'm battle tested. I've been doing this for years and years and years. I go forward and do the thing first. I fail first and then I fix it for you guys so that you can do it without any trouble. There's an entirely free course on how to run your own talk show live stream over on livestreamactionplan.com right now, completely free. And it is a full length course. Everything you need to know, button for button, click for click, everything. You can go do your own live streams if you do not want to join the membership and you will be totally prepared to do that. But by joining the membership, I'm telling you what to do so you don't have to do any thinking. All you have to do is fill in some blanks and actually hit the button to go live and do the thing and then make the money because it's pretty dang cool. Um, and there's a free action plan over there too so you can give it a whirl before you jump into the membership. May is going to be really, really good. We're actually talking about productivity tips. Yes, we are. And how you can be educating your people, your fans, your clients, your students, your whatever, on productivity tips that will actually result in sales for you, which is pretty dang cool, right? We like that. So May is going to be really, really fun. I'm really looking forward to some of the behind the scenes exclusive extra things I've got going on for my members. Uh, and then, of course, the roadmap, the monthly magazine with help for other live streams, other social media things like all the breaking news is coming to Livestream Action Plan first. And the community that we're building is really amazing too. So I'm very, very excited for this. And we jump back in with a brand new topic tomorrow. So it's going to be lots and lots of fun. Livestreamactionplan.com. Go check it out for the free course, the free action plan, plus access to our monthly membership where I am doing all the work for you. All you have to do is go live. It's pretty amazing. Thanks guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed my three productivity tips for going live on Instagram. I'm actually going to be over on YouTube dot com slash k m robinson in oh, 15 minutes yep coming right up on it we are doing the social media for bosses talk show every single wednesday we go live at 3 p.m eastern uh, with amazing guests and today who do i have one for you today be life has just announced a brand new platform edition for live streaming on youtube and facebook so if you want to insert pre-recorded video into your live stream they have been giving us the ability for a little bit now. We've had that ability, but they just streamlined the process. So it's now way easier. You don't have to upload big files. You don't have to tax your computer system. I'm showing you how to do it. And then three really important ways you can be using pre recorded video in a live stream to enhance what you are doing and save you a little bit of time. So you can come over to youtube.com slash K M Robinson, K M R O B I N S O N, like Meet the Robinsons, Swiss Family Robinson, uh, Robinson Caruso, you know, you know, Robinson. 
KM Robinson over on YouTube. I'm going to be breaking down three really important ways you can be using that pre-recorded video and dropping how to actually do this inside of BeLive because it's literally been minutes since they launched this feature. Like literal minutes. I was helping them like 20 minutes ago fix a bug with it. It's fixed now. It's amazing. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it over on our YouTube page. And let me know down in my comments below. Um, aw, thanks for the shout out, guys. Um, let me know down in the comments below what do you need help with because I am popping on with more productivity tips for Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, all those fun, fabulous social media platforms. I would love to help you create a profitable business through smart social media marketing. So you got to tell me where you're struggling so I can help you out. Uh, we've got some cool things going over on YouTube as well. But now I got to get going because I got to get over there because I got to teach you guys. So I will see you over on YouTube. Come hang out with me live. I'll answer your questions over there as well. And then join me here on Instagram tomorrow at 4 p.m. Eastern. I will be on for about 20, 30 minutes answering your social media marketing questions in real time. You can actually join me on air if you want. You can pop up and hit the request button and ask me your social media marketing um, questions. So social media marketing or business questions I am taking tomorrow is going to be lots and lots of fun 4 p.m. Eastern every single Friday. Uh, and then, of course, we do that on Wednesdays as well over on YouTube. Um, and I allow you guys to write in questions early and I give those priority over there. And then we've got the Social Media for Bosses talk show today, every Thursday at 3 p.m. Eastern. The podcast every single Sunday with completely unique content from the talk show and videos dropping every Tuesday and Friday, plus bonus content anytime. An algorithm changes. There's a platform edition, something going on inside of the social media world so that you get a leg up on your competition and always stay at the top of your game. All right, friends, thanks so much for joining me. One more time, livestreamactionplan.com for all of the fun, fabulous, wonderful stuff. And I will see you over on our YouTube page in just a couple of minutes as we dive in two, three really important ways that you can be using pre-recorded video in your live streams to save you time and bump up what you're doing over on your live streams. Thanks, friends. I'll see you over there. Bye-bye.